Stan with Motion VFX, introducing MVCR, a plugin for Final Cut Pro to make your footage look as good as video cassette. With 30 different authentic looking presets, it's never been easier to emulate video cassette media. Let's take a look at how to use this and customize it for your projects. You can find MVCR inside the Effects tab of Final Cut Pro. Inside, click MVCR, hover over any of the presets to preview them, and click and drag and drop it directly onto your clip. It works without any further setup, but we can customize our effect using the inspector. MVCR has a robust collection of parameters that you can change, so I'll extend out my inspector to the full height by double clicking in the top bar. All of the different presets have different effects such as TV noise, interlace, color, distortion, levels, viewfinder, and more. At the very top of our inspector is a proportions dropdown that'll let us change it to an authentic four thirds for that perfect standard definition look. Each of the different presets have their own unique distortions, prism, noise, and more. The viewfinder controls emulate the classic on-screen controls you would have in different camcorders or playback systems, and these controls are separate from the rest of the distortion and prism effects. In this example with our parrot, I have a preset that I'm going to drag on here that has a rewind in the top left corner. This is only for display and won't actually play it in reverse, but to get it to play in reverse, we can just select our clip and hit command R and choose custom and I'll click reverse. Now this clip will actually play backwards as if it's rewound. I'll undo that and let's change the text of this rewind to play and change the icon. Every MVCR preset has changeable icons for the rewind, play, record, stop, and fast forward, along with customizable color controls. On the right side are changeable icons for our logo and a battery meter that we can change inside the inspector near the bottom. If you have your own logo, you can use the custom logo field and the drop zone to place it in. Let's work with this a little bit here and we'll use keyframes to animate the battery level and the color during our project. All of these different icons can be toggled on and off, but let's work with our timecode and explore the adjustments we can make. Use the timecode base to change how your timecode is reflected. Using the timecode offset, you can specify a specific time. With just a few clicks, I've been able to completely change all the viewfinder text items. Let's quickly review one more time. I'll just choose a new preset from the MVCR library, drag it onto my clip, I'll open the inspector, and make some changes. MVCR for Final Cut Pro makes it really easy and quick to create authentic looking retro video for your projects. Again, my name is Stan with Motion VFX and for more great tutorials and plugins, visit motionvfx.com.